Hey folks, Daniel here. Welcome to the channel. In this episode, we are going to be bleeding the brakes and changing the brake fluid on my 718 GT4. Now, doing this on most modern cars is pretty much the same and the GT4 isn't much different, but some people might want to argue out there that the job isn't done until you've bled the ABS module. Now, if you've never heard of that or you've heard of it and you're wondering if that's necessary yourself, hopefully you'll learn something in this episode, so keep watching. Now, if you're wondering about that AVS module bleed, we're gonna talk about that, but first, let's do the standard brake flush on this car, and then afterward, hopefully, I can answer some of your questions on that. If you're familiar with doing a brake bleed and flush process in your car, and you just wanna learn about the AVS, jump to this time, and we'll talk about it then. All right, let's get started. Now, Porsche suggests that you change your brake fluid out every two years. And if you track your car, it's generally suggested at least every two track events. Now, this car is approaching two years old since the original fluid is installed at the factory, and it's got two track events on it. I've got another one coming up this weekend, so we're definitely gonna change it out today. And we're replacing the brake fluid in here with the Motul RBF 600. Now, bleeding the brakes on your GT4 isn't really much different than any other car. You can always do that finely choreographed procedure with a friend where they press the brake pedal and you crack open the bleeder and then you close the bleeder and lift the brake pedal. Now, I usually fly solo, so it's important to me that I can do this by myself and that's why I've got the Motive Products Power Brake Bleeder. This thing is awesome. It makes it so much easier and I don't need a friend to help me out. We're gonna remove some of the reservoir fluid here, uh, but to do that, you need to remove this little yellow filter. And this is a lot harder than you expect, so just get some needle nose pliers and pull it gently if you can, but it will tend to make a mess. There it is. You'll always want some rags handy. Uh, you get brake fluid on anything in your car. You don't wanna just wipe it down. You wanna use some water and completely get it off because it's very caustic. We're taking out as much brake fluid as we can to bring it down to the minimum line. This will minimize how much of the dirty brake fluid we run through the system when we do the flush. The Motive Brake Bleeder makes everything so much easier. I'm using the 1100 adapter for the Motive Brake Bleeder. This is good for European cars and it should work for pretty much all Porsches. Always pressure test the system empty first because you don't want to find out you have a bad seal and suddenly under pressure, a lot of brake fluid goes everywhere. Ask me how I know. Another really important tool to doing a brake bleed process is something to get your whole car up off the ground. It's gonna make it a lot easier. I'm using the Quick Jacks. These are the 5000 EXTs. That's the old version. They're now called the TLX. They're extended. They're a little longer so I can lift my Cadillac as well, but the regular size should work for your Porsche. But see, Porsches have a very limited jack points. So wherever you lift the car with the jack, you're not gonna have a good place to place the jack stand, especially the GT4. The 718 has so many underbody panels, even if there was another spot, I wouldn't be able to see it. So other people with Porsches may consider doing the jack point jack stands or the Ren stands or lift bars to lift the car and then you'll have the access to the actual proper lift points to put your jack stands. But the quick jacks, they work really great for me. When it comes to bleeding the brakes, you can stick with a fairly standard procedure, and that is bleeding the caliper that's farthest from the master cylinder, which is right next to the reservoir in this car. So for this car, that would be the passenger rear wheel. On the Porsche calipers, they're Brembo, so they've got two bleeders. You wanna bleed the inner one first and then the outer. 
I like to use a socket first to break the bleeder loose and then I'll use a wrench. Just minimizes rounding off the bleeder. Tighten it back up again. By the way, I almost forgot a very important safety tip. We should wear rubber gloves. It's gonna help keep that brake fluid off your skin. Put my wrench over the bleeder screw and attach my hose. We'll bleed the inner bleeder first, then the outer, and then we'll move closer and closer to the master cylinder. So that means driver rear, passenger front, and then driver front. Because these brake lines are the longest, I'm gonna bleed at least half to almost a quart of fluid to ensure we get all of that fluid out, especially all the old fluid out of the reservoir. In the meantime, we're always gonna make sure that the power brake bleeder is giving new fluid to the reservoir. You don't want it to go dry. One indication you'll look for is old fluid is darker than the new fluid, so it should start getting lighter in color, but this fluid's in pretty good shape, so it's gonna be a little tough to tell the difference. Always make sure your power brake bleeder is pumped up to proper pressure levels too. Okay, that's a pretty good amount. I'm gonna close the bleeder now. You can also see that the fluid is just a little bit lighter. Don't over tighten this bleeder. You could break it off, but make sure it's not dripping. Since you've already bled most of this line, there's not much to do here. You just need to get the rest out of the lines from the caliper. Okay, once you're satisfied with the bleed process, you can go ahead and remove the motive power brake bleeder, but make sure you depressurize it before removing it from the brake reservoir. The brake fluid may be a little high, so make sure you bring it down to the max line again. Then put your little filter back in and put the cap back on top. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, the ABS module. Do we really need to bleed that? Well, I don't have access to Porsche service manuals, but I have access to other car manuals and ABS systems are largely pretty similar. They all have the same function. They receive brake pressure from the master cylinder and they are electronically controlled valves inside a box that are gonna decide how much pressure needs to go to each brake caliper. And this is of course, during anti-lock braking situations, but with modern cars, especially in the GT4, it's also a function of traction control. So it's pretty darn important, I would say. These service manuals are gonna tell you that in general, you need to bleed the ABS module under two major conditions. Number one, after you've done a normal brake bleed process like we just did, does the pedal still feel a little soft or does it go down too far? If that's the case, let's take the next step and bleed the ABS module. Maybe there's air in there. The second reason is if there's any reason you think air got into the system, and this is usually from changing out or working with parts ahead of the ABS module, like the master cylinder, or maybe you took off the brake lines to the ABS system, that's definitely going to introduce air. Now, we didn't do that, and when you work with the calipers, generally you're not going to get air all the way back to the ABS module. So, generally, you don't have to worry about it. Again, it comes down to that brake pedal pressure. Now, some people might argue that uh, these valves aren't always opening and closing and you've just flushed your brake fluid, but there's still some old stuff in there and that old stuff doesn't move around as much and maybe it's gonna be corrosive or hold moisture, or, of course, air bubbles. And if that's the case, your process is not complete and it may degrade the ABS module over time. Now, I can't vouch for that information. I've never really found any good proof of that, but if you think that might be an issue, 
go ahead, bleed the ABS module. Now I'm assuming you're an enthusiast like me and you wanna take care of your car. And so with that being said, I'm gonna continue flushing my brake fluid out every couple of track days. And if I really want some peace of mind, I'm gonna go every couple of years maybe to the dealership and make sure that they also bleed the ABS module. Now going to the dealership can be kind of expensive and actually you can do it yourself at home with the right equipment. In fact, I borrowed this from my buddy Crazy Eddie. This is the iCarsoft POR version 2.0. This is available on Amazon for only $150. In fact, you can buy one using my associates link down in the description. It doesn't necessarily say on the description that it does the ABS bleed. It can be a little confusing, but the version 2.0 uh, does do the brake module bleed. This module only goes up to the 991 9 11s and the 981 Caymans. However, I have used this to reset my oil light and maintenance intervals on my 718 and so I assumed that I could also do the ABS brake module bleed. Unfortunately, I was wrong. It seems to connect to the car, all the lights come on like it's communicating, but when I got into the process, it would time out and fail. However, if you have a 981, you should be able to do it and it's pretty simple. You're gonna do the normal brake bleed like we did in this video and then you're gonna hook this up to the OBD2 port, turn on the ignition and follow the prompts for the ABS bleed. It's basically gonna tell you to keep a pressure bleeder on the system like we had before, hook up to one of the brake calipers. In this case, it starts out on the driver rear and then crack open the bleeder. Then it tells you to cycle the brake pedal. And this unfortunately is where it failed on my car. I don't know, maybe I wasn't doing the brake pedal properly or something. If you do know, comment below. It would really help me out. But otherwise I tried multiple different ways and it just didn't work. But you'd essentially repeat that process for each of the calipers and then your ABS module is done. That's not so hard and spending 150 bucks instead of going to the dealer, now you have access to do this every time you bleed your brakes and that's some peace of mind. However, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. My brake pedal pressure feels great and that's the important thing, folks. And every couple of years, I'll go to the dealer, have that ABS module bled until they at least give me 718 access with this module. Otherwise, I'm just going to change out my brake fluid like I always do every couple of track days and I'll be happy. All right, folks, I hope you learned something in this episode. Remember that I don't know everything. I have experience, but I get some of my information from people like you who contribute to the forums, the Facebook groups and web blogs, and of course, official resources. And it's thanks to you that I can bring all that information here in this video. And if you think I've done a good job, please help me out, buy stuff using my Amazon Associates link, or if you wanna to contribute directly to the channel, use the super thanks button. That'll give you the option to do that. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future Porsche content. Thank you so much for watching the Jet Fuel Only channel. We'll see you next time. <laughs>